This is a very special situation to be surrounded by female tech people. We wanted to break that pattern and make it mandatory for everybody to leave the space. Whether they want to code overnight or not, they can do it, but elsewhere. It's not just a hackathon, there's a lot happening around it. There's a lot of people that are really deep into tech, but there's also people that have quite some business experience. And the winner of the very first Women Friendly Hackathon in Switzerland is... So, so far it's been really good. We had a kickoff this morning with a kickoff presentation and uh, we had everyone introduce themselves, so all the, the companies and the sponsors that are here today, which was really interesting to see what do they do, uh, what are other companies actually doing in terms of uh, you know, innovation and digital. We have one mentor per two participants. So people can really ask questions about business development, about particular uh, frameworks, coding languages, more about AI, also about blockchain. Um, if they are interested in working in these companies or finding out what are open positions, they can also go and directly ask the, those questions. So it's a really a dynamic atmosphere. For me, one of the key learnings, uh, because uh, before coming here, I did know the basics of blockchain. But it was not very clear how can I visualize that in a real world business case. And through what we've learned of the smart contract, the remix and this uh, boilerplate that, that is facilitated to us through Validity Labs, I could see the integration of the blockchain into a normal web platform and front end, which for me was like the missing link. on the future of computing and as you know that's something that touches everyone in, in the society so it's very important that in the development of the product we're using interdisciplinary teams and also working with a, a diverse team so women in tech is something where we don't have enough women in tech so we need to foster this specifically to, uh, to encourage them uh, to come out to develop more and also make their mark on the product it's very important for us and that's why we're here What's happening in here is that really highly motivated people come uh, on a summer day and instead of being outside at a party, they sit down and they challenge each other. They help each other, they learn from each other and that's what we also want to. We, we're here and we're learning from the community, we're learning from other companies uh, in order to, to grow with the ecosystem here in Switzerland. What's interesting is I, I was actually expecting a very local Swiss population, but it's a very international crowd. I've got a son who is now, right now, learning how to code somewhere there, and I thought that was the best opportunity for both of us. We wanted to be part of that childcare and offer the kids the opportunity to do the same things as their parents are doing, and come here and learn hacking. So we brought some robots and some toys, which. Uh, introduce kids into the world of hacking and technology. We're doing the Thomson Reuters challenge um, and as a news producer they came to us with a couple of different challenges. One was how do we trust the news? Is it coming from who it says it comes from? And is it true or is, it, is there false information that's infused in that information? And so there's three different elements. There is the, the provenance, the usage rights, and then is there a way to use the blockchain to change the way that the payment system is using between the publishers and um, the content producers. For our demo, we took the news articles from the Reuters API and put it on the blockchain. We built a Chrome extension that lets you verify the authenticity and the provenance of the articles you're reading. You open our extension, you get the match results, and we did find a match based on an article from Reuters that you're currently reading. So now that you know where it's coming from. So now that you give us more than 90 seconds, we'll be able to explain to you how to restore trust in the new system. And the winner of the very first Women's Friendly Act of Switzerland is... New System! Oh!